NASA is gearing up for its second flight test of the Low Density Supersonic Decelerator, or LDSD, because we don't want to try to say that full name five times fast. But let's just call it what it is, a flying saucer. The inflatable ring does look a bit like pop culture's idea of an alien spacecraft, but it serves a very real purpose. NASA wants to use it to help slow down probes on their way to the surface of Mars. NASA had originally scheduled a Tuesday test, but has since postponed it to Thursday due to rough seas that could complicate splashdown and recovery efforts. This week's test will run just like last year's. Balloons and rockets will carry the LDSD to 180,000 feet and more than three times the speed of sound, where it will inflate to slow itself down for a parachute-assisted water landing. Despite the parachute not deploying as intended, NASA got all sorts of data and called the test a success. Since then, NASA has redesigned the chute to perform better, but as probes get heavier, we're reaching the limits of what they're capable of. Current probes enter the Martian atmosphere at speeds in excess of 12,000 miles per hour. Atmospheric drag, whether by inflatable ring or traditional parachute, is the most efficient way to slow them down. Jet Propulsion Laboratory Principal Investigator Ian Clark said, We've been using the same parachutes for several decades now. If we want to eventually land a human on the surface of Mars, we realize we need to develop new technologies. And to that end, LDSD is just a stepping stone. It could enable safe deliveries of probe payloads, twice the weight of the 1,982 pound Curiosity, and to higher altitude sites on Mars. But human scale missions will need more slowing power than LDSD can provide. One research paper suggests such missions need to land single payloads as heavy as 80 tons. NASA's plans don't call for humans on Mars until the 2030s, though, so for now it has time to test the smaller scale stuff. The LDSD launch window runs through June 12th, and the event to seize are still rough on Thursday. For Newsy, I'm Rebecca Dunn.